Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. I hope everyone is in good health. And then we can uh, continue our class. Before we address new issue, I would like to review what we have done uh, last week. We are talking about the uh, research topic and hypothesis. So first of all, let's see. Uh, <coughs> uh, different type of hypothesis. Uh, the first one would be uh, the definition of hypothesis. Everyone is already familiar with uh, the definition. Uh, hypothesis is the tentative prediction of the result of the research or the tentative answer to the research questions. Uh, okay, take a look at the uh, good hypothesis. It has some uh, characteristic. The first one is a uh, hypothesis should be based on sound reasoning. So based on your li literature review, then you can have a good reason why you hypothesize that way. So once again, hypothesis is uh, derived from the result of your research uh, review of literature. The second characteristic is a uh, hypothesis provides a reasonable explanation for the predicted outcome. And the third char uh, characteristic is clearly a concisely states the expected relationship between variables. So the variables are, are mentioned in the hypothesis and we show the relationship between the variables. And the last uh, characteristic is that a hypothesis is testable. And then uh, you also discuss about uh, two types of <coughs> uh, hypothesis, <coughs> non-directional and directional hypothesis. The non-directional hypothesis is a statement that no relationship or difference exists between the variables. Where directional, a statement of the expected direction of the relationship or differences between variables. Usually, when you are talking about null hypothesis, you are you are uh, <coughs> you are expecting the what is uh, a statistical statement that no statistical significant relationship or no statistical differences existing between the variables. So usually, in your research hypothesis, you will have the non-directional and directional hypothesis. This is an example, uh, non-directional. There is no relationship between mass attitudes and mass achievement. And we say in the directional hypothesis, there is a strong positive relationship between mass attitude and mass achievement. So the direction of the relationship is already expected, a positive relationship. So we call it directional hypothesis. When your hypothesis is about the difference between variables, then you may want to uh, state in a non-directional one, there is no difference in the achievement of students using technology or not using it. So you say no difference, that means that non-directional. And directional hypothesis would be students using technology will have higher levels of achievement than students who are not using it. So we expect that the student using the technology will have higher achievement in comparison to those who do not use the technology. So this is uh, an example of non-direction hypothesis. Okay. In uh, quantitative experimental studies, Usually we have the formulation of the hypothesis like uh, this one. Those who get treatment X do better on Y, the dependent variable, than those who do not get that kind of treatment. So here the formulation P represents the participant and X represents the treatment 
and why represent the outcome. Uh, this is the uh, independent variable, and this is the dependent variable. Hypothesis used to be tested uh, using statistical analysis of data and importance of the result regardless of the outcome. Uh, usually, uh, it doesn't mean that if you do not reject the null hypothesis, your research is not uh, successful. It doesn't mean that way. So it's always important to remember that whatever the result of the statistical analysis, that will be the result of your study. So that will be the important ones. Usually, uh, we do not say that we prove the hypothesis, but we say we support or fail to support the hypothesis. So remember that the word uh, proof is not a good word for the hypothesis testing. Usually we say whether the, uh, the result of the hypothesis testing is tenable to the hypothesis or we support the hypothesis or we fail to support we don't say we prove or we disprove the hypothesis. So now uh, that is for a brief review of what hypothesis is that we discussed last week. Now uh, we'll come to your assignment. Uh, how actually we state the research problem or the topic so these are the formula that might lead you to uh, state in a better way the research topic. So the first one, if it is a descriptive research, then the statement could be like this, variable, variable, and variable among the type of subjects. So uh, if we have only two variable, and they say variable and variable among the type of subject. So you mentioned the variable and you mentioned the type of the subject. Okay, let's see, uh, for example, in uh, descriptive research, the, this number uh, one, the, an example for the descriptive study, IQ, variable, reading achievement, another variable, and mathematic achievement, another variable, and achievement in written language for native students. So these are the variable, which are mentioned just now, variable, variable, and variable for gifted student. Gifted student and learning disabilities in the middle school is the last part of the uh, formula that we mentioned just now. The among type of subject, the type of subject is the gifted, the gifted and the learning disabilities in the middle school. So we identify the subject of the research. So this is uh, uh, a, a good example of research for formulation or research topic for descriptive study. In a correlational study, the statement might look like this: the relationship between the relationship between variable and variable among the type of subject the relationship between variable and variable among the type of subject. So we can see the example here. The effect of type of instruction, this computer program versus flashcards, on knowledge of addition and subtraction fact for elementary students with learning disabilities. So you mentioned the relationship between variable and another variable, and then the type of subject. When you are doing a causal comparative research, then the statement may look like this. The effect of independent variable not under experimental control on dependent variable for type of subject. So this is the formula for causal comparative research. And this, are, this is the, the example. The effect of type of presentation, concrete manipulables, versus animated computer images on efficiency in learning addition and subtraction fact by first grade students. So using uh, computer images, one is manipulables and the second one is, second one is man animated. And then they actually, the researcher do not manipulate it, do not uh, do the treatment 
So it has been done by the teacher. So we call it causal comparative. So once again, the formula, the effect of independent variable not under experimental control on dependent variable for the type of subject. So this is uh, an example of causal comparative research. And how about experimental research? This is the uh, formula for the topic. The effect of independent variable under experimental control on dependent variable for type of subject. So take a look at the example. The effect of mode of presentation, type of font, and type of size on reading speed and reading comprehension among the middle school student. So this is the subject. And these are the variable that is controlled by the experiment, the experimenter. The researcher controls the uh, mode of presentation and then also control the type of font and also the type size on reading speed and reading comprehension. So reading speed and reading comprehension is the independent variable here, the dependent variable. And the mode of presentation is independent variable, which is controlled by the experimenter. And this is a typical uh, formulation for the uh, experiment research topic. Okay, so actually this is the short review of what we have done uh, last week. But then it also relates to what you are going to do today. Uh, you have submitted your uh, assignment that is uh, finding out uh, what is uh, articles related to your uh, research interest and then you try to formulate two or three uh, topic based on the uh, topic of interest that you are going to investigate. So uh, we will uh, then on the second session of this uh, video, you are going to uh, present a new uh, issue, new topic that is related to sampling and sampling technique. Okay, thank you for the attention. And then uh, you will uh, do some kind of uh, group work afterwards.